Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make GUIs move in Roblox Studio. So let's just get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is go into the View tab, and then open Explore. Today, we only need Explorers, we don't need Properties. After that, you can go into the Explore, go to Starter GUI, click the plus, enter in a Screen GUI. Under that, click the plus, and enter in a Frame. So you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep it as Frame. And then click the plus and insert a local script so you can write what i write so first of all script.parent that is the frame and then colon tween so there's three tweens that we can do so we'll start with the size first inside these brackets you want to write udum 2new so a new size and then you can give it a size so i'm just going to make mine 0 comma 200 comma 0 comma 200 outside of that you can write comma quotation marks out comma quotation marks sign comma one so basically this right here determines uh, what the size is and then these three things is the direction the style and the time it takes uh, i'll leave a roblox wiki form down in the description so that you can go check it out for yourself so let's go quickly test it out but before we do that, I'm going to add a little wait right here so we can see it in action. So here I am in studio. It should happen any time now. And there you go. So the frame increase in size about double because originally it was 0, 100, but we changed it to 0, 200. Okay, so we can put this script on the side for now. And we can play with the next one, which is script.parent colon tween position. So it's literally the exact same thing. So you can just copy this code right here. But this time, this number in here, instead of what size it is, is what the position will be. So we can go test that out. And as you saw, it went from here to here. So that is tuning the position. And also, if you're wondering where to find the position, you can go back to the view tab and open properties and then go to the frame and then here you can find the size and the position so you can see the current position is 0 0 and the current size is 0 100 so if you add these two scripts together basically it would increase in size and position but there's an easier way to do this so we're just going to cancel this script out for now and then we're going to go down the line and then so basically the method to combine these two together with one line of code is using the tween size and position and then what you want to do is udum 2new so the first one is is going to be the size as you can see right here because the first one size so i'm just going to keep it at well, let's actually change it to 0 comma 300 comma 0 comma 300 and then what you want to do is write a comma and then write udum2.new again so this second one over here would be the position and let's also do 0 comma 300 comma 0 comma 300 and after that you can write comma and then whatever you want to write so i'm just gonna keep mine as out comma sign comma one so basically using this you can combine these two together in one line and let's go test that out so i'm here in studio and after five seconds it should go to the positions okay so there you go so as you can see it increased in size as well as changed positions at the same time with only this one line of code so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial if you found it helpful make sure to like comment subscribe and share Check out the description for the Roblox Dev Forum on these last few things on here. The out, sign, and one. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!